Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Digital Learning Today. My name is Jeff Bradbury, your instructional coach and ISTE certified educator. In today's episode, we're going to be diving deep into the brand new Instructional Coaches Data Dashboard and Command Center, and we're going to help you keep track of all of those tasks your school district asks of you each and every week. Here we are in our brand new Instructional Coaches Data Dashboard and Command Center. If this is a new platform for you, check out all of our videos linked below. And to get your copy today, head on over to teachercast.net slash store, and you can download your copy from our online store today. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on procedures. Now, procedures in our instructional coaching world are all of those things that we have to keep track of. Perhaps our administrator says, hey, here's a project. This is a great place where you can list step-by-step -step instructions. You can see here, we have a complete procedures handbook that you not only can create for yourself, but also share with others. Over here, I have all of our procedures and processes and also dates to when we recently updated these procedures. Let's create a brand new one today. In order to do that, I'm gonna click on the blue button that says new. Over here, we're gonna say how to use the copy machine. Now again, this could be everything from how to use the copy machine to how do you add a video in Google Slides to how do you use artificial intelligence for a specific application. Anything that you have, coaches, let's face it, this is a great way to create things and then share them out as links in your weekly newsletters. I'm going to click here on procedures template, and I've created a template where I have our description, a set of directions, and then also where we can get help and support. Think of this in addition to being your s'more or your Google Doc or your OneNote. This is a great way to keep everything in an easy, searchable place, all within your data dashboard and command center. So in order to do this and bring that to that next level, I'm gonna click up here and add some metadata. Under type, I'm gonna call this a how-to. Under application, I've got book creator and I've got Canva, but I wanna add one more here. We're gonna say copy machine. I'm going to add the copy machine here. It was last edited. If I have an application, I can add the logo. And if I want to, I can also add the website. So here I have added my thing. I've got my procedures. And you'll notice here, it's automatically down here. And it's also under my recently updated. Let's dive into one more. Because you'll notice I had book creator and Canva. Let's create a procedure. For Canva. I'm going to create new how to make a video using Canva. What is it? It's a how to. What's the application? It's under Canva. I can last edit it. I can always add a logo and under the website canva.com. Now again, if I want, I can use that procedures template or I can always create a brand new template here and I can have that to use over and over and over. So let's go back under Canva, here I am, and let's just use the template that I had before. I've got all this information. Again, I can add video, I can add presentations, I can link to Google Slides, I can link to PowerPoint, I can add anything that I want onto this document and then simply click on share. I can publish this or I can add a link and I can share this directly with other people. We're gonna talk about publishing in a different video in this series. Now, here you have all of our procedures. Now, we mentioned Canva, where does all that come in? You'll notice down here under applications, I have Canva. If I click on this, you'll notice that I have a spot for Canva. I'm gonna click on this and it's automatically gonna to update to all of the resources that I have for Canva or any of the applications that we have. If I have a rep for Canva, I can certainly add that here. Here's the name of the vendor. And of course, here's all the procedures that we've created for Canva. So as you can see, it is extremely easy to keep organized and share how-tos and procedures, not only with yourself, 
but with others in your school building and school district. If you're looking for more information about this and you'd like to bring this into your system, head on over to teachercast.net, click on that link for store, and you can purchase this template and bring it home today. This is the perfect thing for any instructional coaching department, and I love to have you guys check this out today. On behalf of everybody here on the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, your digital learning coach and ISTE certified educator. Keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. You've been listening to the TeacherCast Educational Network, hosted by Jeff Bradbury. Please reach out to the show with all of your questions on Twitter at TeacherCast or online at www.teachercast.net. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. And please take a moment to write a review in the App Store.